The Pig, Huntress, and Clown received huge buffs in the most recent update. I wanted to see how impactful these changes were. So I invited two top European Dead by Daylight teams, Eternal and Ariandel, to battle it out and showcase the buffs. In round one, Eternal played first, securing a 4k with one gen left as Pig. However, the dash was rarely used due to how pro players control pallets. Ariandel's killer, La Magic, was a little more adventurous with the new dash mechanics. Waiting to see the pre-leave, he will get that hit with the new Pig buff, but ultimately failed to better Zaka's result, giving Eternal the lead going into the Huntress set. The Huntress set begins with La Magic bringing both wind-up add-ons to make use of the massive wind-up buff as well as her extra two hatchets in base kit. Ooh, Ooh very early hit. so fast. Babushka oak haft, sorry. Babushka mana grass braid. Wow. Ooh. He's intentionally dying under their pallet. Is someone actually here? Yeah. Yep, someone yes. came in. Uh, the use of the flashlight as well. It looks like I think there was three people there. One for the save. Yep, yep. Three people. Somebody was working on Shaq. The magic clocking the hatchet very early. You can see evidently the Huntress buffs coming into play already. She just pulls up that hatchet so fast. And yeah. already used two hatchets, but she still has five. Increasing to seven. Mind games on the three lane. Nice! Yeah, that so is a fast unhog. And what a great hit, actually. Wow. Yeah, nice hit onto Roy over the car. Sees Roy leaving, but doesn't really care. Knows what he wants to do to Nightlight here. Nightlight running the three lane. Hatch it up. He just comes wow. up instantly. Wow. That is an insane start for the magic. So now <laughs> that is a very fast second stage. We're still at five gens. I believe the way that the magic is playing, it shows me that he absolutely believes in the chase potential of this killer. He's pretty happy to just float around the hook and it looks like he's predicting that Nightlight has been left for dead. Is he going to come good on that prediction? He is Nightlight dead on second hook, taking chase with Zaka on the rock, throws the hatchet, misses. Six hatchets left. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh. Blocking the hatchet anyway, it is absolutely ridiculous the speed at which the hatchet is ready to throw. Moving out towards yeah. Dan on the edge map. That is not the best pallet against Huntress. Yeah, cannot shoot over anything. Blocking it, shoots, hits on Dan. Dan, probably not in the best place to run against Huntress where he can't really dodge easily on that tile. He sees the gen is being worked to his left. And running straight back to the rock pallet that he was on before. It looks like this wind-up time is just doing a, a world of pain to these survivors. Oh, unlucky La Magic just whacking it into the rock. And it's the pallet oh, once no. more. He misses. Two hatchets left. He's gonna need to make good on one of them. Otherwise, this is gonna so be it's a... inter interesting to see he would have been out of hatchets now, and he isn't. Yep. Still has two more. The built-in infantry belt, La Magic walking all the way with the Oh nice! Dan very clearly aware on where the hatchet can come through. Keeping the hatchet up, he needs to hit this. Hits exactly when he needs to. Zero hatchets left. Oh, sees the scratches. It might be too little too late. I believe it is. Already out the hook. So now it's another interesting bit of decision making. He is actually opting to go for Dan, which Quite interesting, yeah. I find a little bit surprising. But maybe he also doesn't want to chase on that pallet. Goes for the vault. Sees Roy clocking a hatchet on Roy. Gets it. You see, this is very interesting as well because the pain res hook is right there. They have progress on one gen. If the down is quick enough, pallet dropped by Roy, zoned into the edge of the map. So we should see a down relatively soon. Re relatively soon. Gen popped. Oh, Roy had adrenaline. adrenaline. That hurts. So and it looks wow. like your prediction of seven stages might come true, depending on how the magic plays this. Oh, one thing to consider, there's the hatch offering and the hatch is going to spawn there. On the back side of Shaq. So this is a He's going to break situation. it. Survivors cannot leave. This is this is it really, isn't it? Beautiful hatch from the magic. Last second flick. And I think that saved his seven stages. Going into the next game, Zaka needed to outperform the 2k seven stages that the magic had put up. Let's see if Zaka can do better with the Huntress buffs than the magic. Pretty happy to leave that one, although he is coming straight back to 
Bubbo on this rock knows that this pallet is a lot more playable. The seven hatchets in play has definitely weighed in a lot in these first chases. I feel like our Huntresses have been a lot more inclined to just let the hatchets fly rather than being safe with them because you just simply don't need to. Yeah. Zaka going for the same shot twice, not making it. Three times. Bubbo playing insanely well, running straight through, expecting something. Hatchet coming out from Zaka. Bubbo going straight to the pallet. Hatchet up and hits Bubbo on the corner. He's going to basement. Nobody is working the Shaq Gen. Damn. And there's a gen, relatively high chorus right next to it. And that has to be abandoned again. We see a little bit of replay here. That's probably going to be Zaka happy to just control this area now. That is hob. So there are two gens that can be controlled by the Hunters here. And if he stands on top of this hill, this chain cannot be walked. Yeah, he and Shaq, maybe even the one next. That. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very, very rough position. Ruin off the board already, so it's not doing as much damage as it once would. And Zaka, oh, leaving the oh, basement and the saves basement. comes out. Wow. Really okay, well there done. There must have been someone sneaking into basement early and they can even leave for free. Bubbo did not go second stage. Yeah, Ariando is in a great position now. Well done. Wow. Yeah, like, uh, absolutely perfect timing on the basement save. Now, one stage for Zaka, you would expect. Oh, ducks under the hatchet as well. That gen is off the board, the one you expect to be completed. Progress on the gen next to the hill. You would expect another gen being worked on top of that. Yeah. Mind games from Zaka, expecting vault. Bubbo to vault. He doesn't. Bubbo holding W into the gens that are already completed. Dodges the hatchet. Wow. Yeah, we can see no gen in this area, so this is the area that Bubbo wants to be in. He's not even second stage, so... Yeah, vault from Bubbo and a down. Yes, he has to go for Paris. Oh, I, I think, think at the this Paris point is, go is so far. This is one hit and off, right? Yeah, they realize that. Zaka cannot get his pain res. No, he doesn't get a hook either. And now Bubbo so wiggles called, off. That's horrible. One gen left, Absolute Zaka disaster. with the... Wow. He can't even he can't even hold this anymore. So even if he gets a bubble on this hook, he doesn't have the time to protect it and pressure it. Pursuing La Magic, La Magic, happy to pop that gen into oh, the adrenaline. adrenaline play. Zaka has just got so unlucky. Oh, Great and the hatchet cases. into a rock. No. La Magic having the time of his life, and we should see six stages. Has La Magic been hooked? It looks like a, a six-stage game. The magic might even get out of the door or, or not. Beautiful place. I'm honestly curious when they sneaked into the basement. That was incredible. So someone must have sneaked into the basement at some point. They got that unhooked, no second stage. And th the moment he doesn't go second, that's so rough. With the sets tied up at 1-1 between Ariandor and Eternal, we go into the buffed Clown matches. Clown has been pretty much buffed across the board with two extra bottles, as well as having his values tweaked. We'll have to see how the professional players play and deal with the new Clown buffs. But whatever team does better will win the entire thing. These are two intoxication add-ons. That's one second longer intoxication, and the other one is Fops that more hindered. So they stack quite nicely, and Bobo getting hit already. He's gonna be slow. I don't know if he makes it this pallet. This, he needs a hit tank. Already. He needs a hit tank, right? Oh, and they got oh, yeah, the comm. The they got yeah. the comm of needing the hit tank. He's now on the pallet, though, is which is just about the only thing going for him. Baking the pickup doesn't go for it. Nightlight, amazingly well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this would be the point where you usually be out of, add uh, out of bottles, but now he has two more. And I think that's coming in nicely. Oh my god! Oh. This is a so down much trouble and two for... tags. Only because of the pallet save. Ariando. Ariando is in big trouble here. Going for the pickup. She goes for it! She makes it! Okay, Ariando somewhat rescuing what was in a terrible, terrible situation. And now Nightlight reloads as our Fang is zoned to this loop. Breaking it, pretty happy for uh, Feng to pre-run straight into the gas. Feng instantly dropping that pallet. Nightlight wanted to mind game on the pallet. Yep, Feng going down. Yeah. This this seems like a... Is it almost like a Nightlight saying I'm pretty happy with, with what seems to be maybe seven stages? Get, yeah, uh, yeah, get Arima exactly. killed. So... Oh, okay, here we go. That's great. Is Finds someone else ready to go for that unlock in time? Oh, look, I, I, would be, I would be very surprised if they had another person ready to go. No. 
It needs to be Sable. now. Arima's gone. No. I wonder if they even tried to go for it. Sable in the corner, and now it's gone from what seemed to be heavily favored for Ariandel to a very, very good situation for Nightlight. Yeah. Pallet dropped in bus, bolts, <laughs> exactly what Nightlight Gosh. wanted. It maybe have one gen ready to go, but the priority right now, I would, I imagine, would be, oh my god. Ooh. I pick found out of position once more, trying to shape up for the save. Does, do that. does not make the pallet. Wow. Okay, that's an. Ins now we're looking at a very, very strong result, though. Uh, looks like Bubbo's going for the other hook. Yep, Nightlight saw it. Bubbo's coming in for it. He will get the save. No, he won't. Oh, oh, oh that's so bad. And yeah, well, that's a yeah this is a 4K too. On Great the battle toss too. Wow. Uh, I would be shocked if uh, Ariando were able to even come close to this result. But that is quite the blowout. That was such a twist of a game. It went from heavily in Nightlight's favor to Ariandel's favor to right back in Nightlight's favor again. After a hell of a performance from Nightlight, the Magic going into the next game had to get better than a 4K with two gens left in order to win the set. That uh, looks to be the first hit already. Not yeah. bad. Early hit on Dan. What does Dan have to run? He's got an edge map power and a dream. So I believe... Oh, going for the break. Okay, Dan will not make anything very early down for the magic. Damn. Very this is early. People? No, it isn't. Very early save. Brutal strength break. Spitz was the savior. Dan is our sprint burst player, it seems. Trying to land the bottle on Dan. Pretty happy to chase him with the bottle up, which is interesting. Ooh. Oh! Oh, that mind game worked Does off. he get that? He gets it. La Magic may be actually doing something here. Straight into Shaq. Pallet got on five gens, as you would expect. Yeah, that's going to make it even harder for Dan now, because one of the god pallets is gone. He got for the people. Okay. Going to be full health from here on out. Yep, Ooh. chasing Spitz. Getting the down. Okay, this is going to be another pain res on the board. Uh, unhook coming in straight away. It's probably from Zaka, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we pushing Zaka so to Dan his edge map pallet. No vault. Yeah, this is, this is rough. He needs such a quick down into the pain res to do anything here. Yeah. Whilst well, the magic has played extremely, extremely well, it's just the win con is going to be too much, it seems. Oh, no, he definitely makes that. Yeah, pallet gone. Yeah, it seems and much, it's much taking a himself. tiny bit, tiny bit too long. The gens are being us while this chase is going on. Yeah, no hesitation from Zaka. I would expect the last gen to pop. Oh, any second now. Great play. He would need a no down of pain res, look quite literally instantly. <laughs> Oh, he will get the down yet, yeah, but too little, too late. The win con. And so sad. The Magic playing extremely well. Maybe Eternal playing a little bit more relaxed and leaking more stages because they knew that they could. Breaking the pallet early on. Spitz opting to run straight for Crane. And yeah, pretty happy to play the Battle of Pink. Bottle out, bottle hit. We'll get the hit onto Spitz. But yeah, La Magic is just chasing, knowing that the, the last jump will go fairly soon. And this round is very much over. Hit onto Spitz again, and a down. That is honestly great, great gen speed by Eternal. Yeah. They're, they're always so good on the gens. They're always extremely efficient. Yeah, as you would expect. Pallet down from Zaka. This would expect the down from the magic, yes. Unhook. Hitting Dan. I'd expect to see a body block uh, be coming in any second now. Yeah, Vault from Dan. It's downing Zaka. 
pushing him towards Shaq. Actually pretty happy to play this Palo and does win the mind game. The game ended with a three out for Eternal. Congratulations on Eternal to winning the set. However, I do think these games showcased perfectly the increased lethality of both Clown and Huntress. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe and have a wonderful rest of your day.